योगेन चित्तस्य पदेन वाचा मल शरीर से वैद्यक योपाकोत प्रवर मुनी पतंजलि प्राजलिरान तो we bow, we bow down to the sage patanjali who gave us yoga for the purification of the chitta ayurveda for the purification of the body and sanskrit grammar for the purification of speech okay so dear friends in the last class we were having a discussion that when a yogi is able to do his samyama on the karma hmm? then he can know his time of death also if he does samyama on certain signs that are around that also can tell him about the time of death hmm? now when you say karma in the yoga is one science which has gone in very depth of this understanding of human action hmm? so karma is something which bhagavad gita krishna says nahi kashchid kshanam api chatu tishthatya akarma krut karyate yavashah karma sarvah prakriti jair gune hai it means arjuna there is no moment in this life that you are free from karma even if you think that you can run away from karma even if you go to forest or not do it still there you will be doing some karma nahi kashchid kshana kshana is not just one second one second also can be split into millions of kshanas okay so it is the smallest unit of time according to yoga shastra सो नहीं कश्चिद क्षण अकर्म देर इज इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू नॉट टू डू कर्मा इवन फॉर एनी क्षण सो इवन इफ यू स्लीप इट इज ए कर्मा यू ब्रीद इज ए कर्मा यू हार्ट बीट्स इट इज ए कर्मा सो एक्शन इज हैपनिंग सो इवन इफ यू बाय फोर्स विड्रॉ योर सेल्फ द गुणाज ऑफ द प्रकृति विल फोर्स यू टू वर्ड्स इट like if you stop your breath after some time you have to breathe in hmm? so in the same way if you try to stop the thoughts in your mind they will go they will come out after some time and they will take the direction based on their own karma flow karya prakriti jair gune hain prakriti mein the sattva rajas tamas gunas are there and they will keep playing okay so now one thing is for sure that there is no escape from the karma correct now if there is something which is inevitable can i use it more productively for my evolution hmm? karma has to be done so then it is very important to learn how the karma has to be done hmm? so therefore if you look at the yoga philosophy in detail you will see that the karma has been categorized into different types hmm? one is a you can say a horizontal classification one is a vertical classification so in horizontal classification you little go behind appa you go little i can't see her little behind ha huh. so horizontal classification is when karma is done in the moment now hmm? it can be called as a sakama karma a vikarma and a nishkama karma okay so sakama karma is when i am doing the karma the whole purpose of me doing the karma is that i have a desire to fulfill and that desire is related to my mind body complex okay if that is the driving force for my karma hmm, then i am saying that this is a sakama karma and krishna says in bhagavad gita that it is the lowest quality of doing the karma kripana karma hetavah those 
who are doing the karma only for the sake of the fruit of the karma for fulfilling their desires, they are called as kripanas. Kripanas are those who are miser, who, who are little narrow-minded. They have not understood the yoga and its philosophy in the proper sense. So they, that is called as kripana falahetavaha. Um, why, why Sakam Karmis have been called as Kripana? Because the tool that can give you much more is being wasted in taking ephemeral momentary things. See, imagine that I have a bow and I have arrows. I have limited number of arrows, 10 arrows. And what I do with the arrow is I aim at the mango on the tree. My aim is one mango I will eat, other mango I will sell or I will give it to my... So, I use 10 arrows and I focus on the mango and it is not that every arrow will hit the mango. Correct? Even if you imagine that every arrow hits the mango. Hmm? Ultimately, by putting 10 arrows, what I get? 10 mango. Correct? But if I target the infinite sky with my arrow, hmm? Brahma Arpanam, Brahma Havihi, Brahma Agno, Brahma Nahutam, Brahma Eva Tena Gantavyam, Brahma Karma Samadhina. There is another way of doing the karma. Hmm? the arrow is directed towards the infinite. It is done for the sake of the infinite. Then the fruit of that action is also you merging with the infinite. Hmm? So even if I am focusing on the mango, there is another way of shooting the arrow. This narrowness of only seeing the mango hmm? is one aspect. Other is I focus on the sky completely expanded and then even when I come towards the mango still in the background the same sky continues. Then even if I am throwing my arrow towards the mango my vision towards the arrow is infinite. Then whether the mango comes or doesn't come, it doesn't matter. But the arrow has been shooted targeting the infinite. Infinite is what? Infinite does not have any direction. Infinite is everywhere. So, a Sakama Karmi will also get the mango. A Nishkama Karmi will also get the mango. Both of them have 10 mangoes. But this person only has 10 mangoes. This person has 10 mango plus Brahman. You understand? So, Kripana, Kripana is narrow. You are just wasting a very, very, you know, uh, you can say precious tool for a thing which will just vanish in another second over. So, human life has been given a lot of value. And it has been said that only in the Mrityu Loka, only in this place that you have the freedom to do the action. Hmm? Otherwise, everywhere else, the action is automatically happening. There is no new karma. New karma. Karmani eva adhikaraste. Ma phaleshu kadachanaha. Ma karma phala hetur bhuhu. Ma te sangostva. A karmani. Karmani eva dhikaraste. Oh Arjuna, you are born on this earth, on this planet. Yes. You have been given the privilege, power and eligibility to do a new karma which is not even possible by the devas or not even up to the level of the Brahma. It is not possible. They are all programmed. Hmm? It is not possible for the energy centers in the cosmos to deviate from their karma. Their things are automated. Like sun has to rise. Sun has to keep glowing. You know, 
earth has to rotate so these are the forces which are programmed they have to happen but human being right now in this moment you can get up and go you can resign from your course i don't want to do msc gone finish i don't want to become a doctor all freedom you have hmm? but it is not there in other beings on this earth also you have seen in circus mighty huge elephant hmm? stands on a small ball mighty lions they jump from the ring of fire why because a very thin lean ring master has a whip just that one whip the fear of that whip has taken away the freedom of action of animals who are thousand times more powerful than us why this neocortex you say the ring master says i resign from your circus go lion cannot resign elephant cannot resign whale cannot resign hmm? so karmani ev adhikaraste you are karma you can do karma but how your karma will be processed you can do whatever you want how it will be processed once the arrow you have released now what trajectory it will take where it will hit what consequences will you have no control over it so don't waste this precious tool only for the phalahetu just gaining this small ephemeral things and because I am telling you that just do not focus on it. Do not run away from action also. Do not become lazy also. Okay, so sir says you don't have to target anything. You don't have to pass, get good marks in exams. So I will not study and do. Anyway, everything is karma. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't become lazy. Mate sangostva akarmani. Human mind is such. Either it becomes too rajasic as soon as you tell him don't do it. It goes to the opposite extreme. Okay, gone. Relax. Krishna is very careful. In the same shloka, hmm? Ma karma phala hetu immediately says, Ma te sangostva a karma. Don't get attached to your karma. So, do your duty. Don't be lazy. But at the same time, don't be attached to only the fruit. Do it for a higher purpose. Such a beautiful shloka. The most, most powerful, most popular shloka. Of the whole human life can be guided by one shloka. Hmm? So, this is the horizontal. Vikarma. Vikarma is completely doing exact opposite of what has to be done. Hmm? This is also there. Some human beings have viparita buddhi. Whatever is their duty, whatever is their karma, they will go in the exact 180 degree opposite direction. Hmm? Duryodhana was like that. These are vikarmas. Viparita karmas. So, sakama karma is in the middle. Vikarma and Nishkama Karma. This is horizontal classification of karma. If you look at a vertical classification, then in the base right lies the Sanchita Karma. Sanchita happens for Vikarma and Sakama. For Nishkama, there is no Sanchita. Nishkama is a destroyer of Sanchita. Okay. So, then in the base you see that there is... Uh, Sanchita karma is like it has a bundle of all the karmas you have done in all the previous lives till now. I gave you an example of millions of folders in a computer like that. Out of those Sanchita, one particular group of karma is chosen. That is for this life. The, the situation that you will face. Hmm? So on one side, life is also throwing arrows at us. So this is the prarabdha, where you are born, what situation you will have, accidents that you undergo, and the time of your death. These are all prarabdha. Now, in this prarabdha, which you are continuously facing from moment to moment, you know, you see, it is like a snapshots. Hmm? Just a moment before, you were with somebody else. Now you are here, then you will meet somebody else. All this is being driven by your prarabdha. Continuously, this one prarabdha which is unfolding itself, it has a complete scenario for you to be exposed. And in that, what is the freedom that you have? That is called as agami karma. Hmm? 
agami or also it is called as kriyaman kriyaman is when life gives me a prarabdha i have a freedom of how to respond to it okay so if i am reacting to it there is a difference between reacting to a situation and responding to a situation hmm? Hmm? can anybody tell me what is the difference reacting to a situation and responding to a situation so i come and slap you hmm? you slap me back hmm? reaction you should do that to mahatma gandhi slap he puts the other cheek forward huh this is responding so life brings situation that is not in my control but karmani ev adhikara where is the adhikara adhikara is in responding hmm? so our uh, shankara acharya says kartum akartum anyatha va kartum shakta that you have the adhikara of doing it as everybody else would do or doing it entirely differently or not doing anything at all in that moment hmm? but very few of us actually realize this bandwidth that we have in responding we all think that it is natural way everybody does that i also do that but you have freedom no you can respond in a entirely different way those who hate you you can love them hmm so it is not necessary that one who hates me i have to hate him back hmm so this is the kriyamana or agami that you do now one thing that comes you know we were also discussing for example if there is a situation like um, a person is being troubled by another person hmm for example if there is a lady her husband is a drunkard husband is a drunkard and husband comes and beats her okay and uh, she has a son who is uh, observing this and uh, now in this situation how do you take it whether it is this lady's prarabdha hmm? and uh, the husband is coming and beating her and uh, the child is observing or it is the karma of the husband or it is the lady's prarabdha or it is both you understand no if somebody is troubled by another what is your take on this both what do you say how both it is prarabdha of the lady also and both of them match each other is it always so it is little you know you see if you try to properly understand how can it be both either the lady has done some pap karma in the past for which the husband is beating her then how it is husband's karma okay. husband is just killing her karma no but uh, husband is doing that karma now so that will be considered but that is karma. drawn by lady's prarabdha no but the action is done by the husband But the, then how will the lady fulfill her prarabdha? That's why we match it. So, so past janma me this lady would have beaten the husband. So abhi husband usko maar raha hai wapas. Barabar. So husband ka naya karma kaise hoga? To unending cycle hoga. Fir wo lady fir maarigi agle janma me usko. Abhi usne usko pehle maara. Ab ye usko maar raha hai agle janma me wo usko maarigi. To unending cycle hoga na? that is my question my question did you understand lady is prarabdha husband is beating her it means lady has done some karma against the husband in the past it mean okay assume that lady has beaten her husband in the past okay this lady was the husband in the last life husband was the wife in the last wife, last life and uh, this lady has beaten her husband now in this life husband is beating the lady now in the next life 
या हिसाब बराबर हो गया इस जन्म में हिसाब बराबर हो गया फिर If if it is is then husband husband has no, done, not, not done any karma, no? It is her prarabdha only, no? which is forcing the husband to take the things back. No. Like you mentioned earlier about cycles and patterns in life, they come until you become aware and are not affected by it. Then it is not husband's karma. It is my prarabdha which is drawing the situation in my life. If lady wants to get away with it, lady has to be unaffected. If husband wants to get away with it, next life the husband has to. No, you are not answering my question. My question is whether it is lady's prarabdha or husband's karma. Question is clear. You are saying both. I am giving you a logic back that either it can be her prarabdha or his karma. It cannot be both. Because if you give, attribute it to prarabdha, then husband has not done anything wrong. Uska prarabdha usse karwa raha hai. Kyunki usne pichle janam mein usko maara hai, wo ulta usko balance kar raha hai. Ho gaya, hisab barabar. To husband ke upar kaya hai, kao tum naya karma dal rahi ho. Phir wo naya karma aega, to phir agle janam mein phir se wo cycle phir chalti rahegi na. So unending cycles are there. These cycles never end. Karma, prarabdha, karma, prarabdha chalta rahega. लॉजिकली बोलो ना जैसे कि लेडी का अगर प्रारब्ध है इफ लेडीज प्रारब्ध इज देयर देन शी इज ड्राइंग द हस्बैंड टूवर्ड्स दैट सफरिंग नो फिर हस्बैंड को कर्मा क्यों दे रहे हो तुम हाँ नहीं उस इस जन्म में तो वो लेडी तो कुछ कर ही नहीं रही है हस्बैंड आके दारू पी के उसको मार रहा है तो वो लेडी क्या करे इस जन्म में अभी वो तो बस ये बोल रही है पिछले जन्म के मेरे कर्म होंगे इसलिए ऐसा पति मिला मार रहा है ठीक है मार खा रही अब क्या करेगी इसके अलावा अर्चिता वट इज योर टेक ऑन दिस डोंट नो दोनों ऑप्शन मत बोलो या तो लेडी का प्रारब्ध बोलो या हस्बैंड का कर्म बोलो लेडी का प्रारब्ध कितने लोग बोलते हैं हाथ उठाओ वन टू थ्री हस्बैंड का कर्म बोलते हैं हाथ उठाओ हस्बैंड कर्मा हम्म तुमने दोनों में भी नहीं उठाया ओके, सो दिस हैज टू बी अंडरस्टूड प्रॉपरली कर्मणी एव अधिकार सो इट इज हजबेंड कर्म इट हैज नथिंग टू डू विथ लेडीज प्रारब्ध वाई द डेफिनेशन ऑफ कर्मा यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इन कर्मा यू गो थ्रू ए साइकल where you have lot of raga and dvesha dhyayato vishayan pumsah sanghasteshu upajayat sanghat sanjayate kamah kamat krodho bijayat okay so once the how the karma happens first there is thinking 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 about it then there is a desire that comes after that there is a plan person puts up a plan to execute the action and it is driven by kama krodha hmm? these kind of emotions kleshas are there driven by that person consciously plans and execute the actions then this is this person's karma you understand whereas if it is there is no component of conscious planning in it no i am driving a car and i suddenly see that a a cow or an animal has come in front of me i take the car on the other side and it hits another person here i have not done that conscious dhyayato pumsah thinking planning nothing now this that i hit the person is not my karma it is his person's prarabdha 
whereas if i deliberately you know bring the animal in front tell somebody to send the animal so that i turn and hit him because i want to hit him it is my karma you open a door one lizard gets crushed between the door it is not my karma my intention my intention was not to hurt or kill then it doesn't it doesn't come under my karma then my karma is like karma of the other elements of nature like floods come hmm heat stroke or uh, there is uh, drowning or all those things that happen you cannot say that it is karma of water that people drowned so in the same way when you do not have that component of planning within you at any level and then something happens to somebody somebody gets hurt then it is not your karma it is that person's prarabdha whereas if there is a conscious effort to execute something then it is not that person's prarabdha it is your karma so in this way both prarabdhas and karmas continuously keep playing in our lives तो कभी कभी हमारे साथ हमारा प्रारब्ध काम करता है कभी कभी हमारे साथ सामने वाले का कर्म काम करता है बिकॉज दिस वे ऑफ थिंकिंग दैट सफरिंग दैट अनदर पर्सन इज गिविंग टू ए पर्सन इज द सफर प्रारब्धा इज ए वेरी इनसेंसिटिव वे ऑफ थिंकिंग छोटे छोटे बच्चों के साथ में रेप हो जाता है तो हम ये बोलेंगे क्या कि इस बच्ची का पिछले जन्म का प्रारब्ध है बहुत इनसेंसिटिव वेरी इनसेंसिटिव It is this new person's planning. He is doing a karma, जिसका उसको रिजल्ट मिलेगा जब भी एक इंसान दूसरे के प्रति हिंसा करता है वो उस हिंसा करने वाले का कर्म होता है वो हिंसा सहने वाले का प्रारब्ध कभी नहीं होता अदरवाइज इनसे हाँ वो तो मार खाएगी वो उतने पिछले जन्म के उसके पाप है वेरी रॉन्ग दिस इज दिस इज द वेरी डिस्टॉर्टेड वे एंड वेरी यू नो Uh, we can say insensitive way of understanding yoga philosophy humko zyada compassion hona chahiye uske liye these are asuri people who are got into this kind of a level of a tamasic karma who are troubling this satvik people who have not done any kind of harm hmm do nirbhaya ke sath mein so i have seen people talking ki yaar usne loose ladki ne kaise karm kiye honge ki uske sath aisa oh my god you have gone mad kisi ke sath bhi ho sakta Also, I see some people who who are very spiritual. They get into this kind of a delusion. अरे यार हम तो भगवान का दिन भर नाम लेते हैं, इतनी पूजा करते हैं, हमने इतना दान पुण्य किया है. हमारे साथ क्या होगा? हमारे साथ कुछ नहीं हो सकता. हम तो दिल्ली में भी रात में भी अकेले निकल जाते हैं. भगवान मेरे साथ है. फिर उसको चोर पकड़ के डंडे लगाता है उसको. Because you are not not having a simple common sense that there are people who have asuri sampad. They also have freedom to do karma like you have. like a devi sampat person has complete freedom of doing whatever he wants a complete asura a rakshasa also has complete freedom to do whatever he wants so then it doesn't matter how much punya you have done how much bhakti you have done agar wo asur ne pura will power se thaan liya hai ki wo tumko ye karna hai usko to fir wo usko karega now you have to apply your brain you have to apply your common sense you should not go in places which are dangerous so this kind of a wrong understanding hone se people ko shock lagta hai spirituality mein they get shock because they do not develop correct understanding of the so prarabdha is always that happens by forces of nature that happens through a person unintentionally that is prarabdha aapke ghar mein chori ho gayi वो जिसके घर में चोरी हुई उसका प्रारब्ध नहीं है वो वो चोर का नया कर्म है जिसका चोर को आगे ये मिलेगा सो यू शुड बी वेरी कंपैश वो उसके साथ हुआ आपके साथ भी हो सकता था किसी के साथ भी हो सकता है वो क्योंकि चोर को कर्म करने का फ्रीडम है वो चोर ये नहीं देखेगा कि ये भगवान का नाम लेती है ये नहीं लेती है उसके जो उसके कर्म के हिसाब से जो चलेगा थिंकिंग प्रोसेस ही हैज फ्रीडम तो ऐसा नहीं है कि जिसने कभी किसी का बुरा नहीं किया उसके साथ बुरा नहीं हो सकता 
बताओ यार व्हाई शुड आई डू भक्ति इफ 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 आई एम नॉट हर क्वेश्चन इज वेरी सेंसिटिव नाउ she is asking a very fundamental question people go to god we pray to god say that our loved ones should be protected we go to temple for only that purpose but if asuras also have complete freedom and there is no difference why should people pray to god then? in that loop means there will be uh, something happening there will be somebody their mind goes on in fluctuations but compared to the divine compared to people that fluctuations in mind to usse kya ho raha hai mera nuksan jo ho raha hai wo to ho hi raha hai na but uh, as per the yoga the shiksha vritti should go down ha the vritti is place as which come down so here the important thing that you have to understand is that when a person grows in the path of yoga or in the path of bhakti he moves towards the very source of creation okay so then what happens is as you move towards the source of creation there is a balancing of energies you know so then the person who has asurism who wants this particular person who is uh, a bhakta or to trouble him you know so he will use his power asuri power whereas the person who is surrendering to god will be protected by the god's power positive power so there will be a fight now the fight is between how much power this person is able to download from god and how much power the person who wants to hurt is able to put into it if you see that um, uh, in mahabharata kamsa you know kamsa or ravana they were very powerful rama was backed by divine protection ravana was backed by asuri evil forces now ravana also was a great tapasvi he had also gathered lot of powers because of that power he could take sita sita ko le paya ram aur lakshman dono ke hote hue wo chal karke whatever you means he used he could trouble rama no but ultimately because rama's devotion was one pointed rama came out of it and won एंड में विजय आपकी होती है सो इन द सेम वे द सफरिंग दैट ए पर्सन गोज थ्रू वी कैनॉट से दैट इट वॉज रामा कर्मा दैट रावणा शुड टेक द वाइफ ऑफ रामा अवे रामा हैड नॉट डन एनी सच कर्मा इट इट वॉज नॉट रामा प्रारब्ध इट वॉज रावणाज कर्मा सो इफ रावणा डिसाइडेड दैट ही हैज टू ट्रबल रामा ही कुड ट्रबल रामा बट it was also the test of rama's bhakti and surrender to the path of dharma whether rama will leave the path of dharma in such crisis but then as you see that the person who wanted to trouble him troubled him but then there were protective forces supportive forces these were only two brothers who just walked in a forest but you see how they could create you know a complete army of monkeys सी कितना डिवाइन उसको हेल्प कि विद दैट आर्मी वेर देर वर एनिमल्स मंकीज बियर्स एवरीबडी ही कुड बीट द माइटी लंका का जो किंग है उसको हरा दिया फ्रॉम नथिंग ही डिंट कॉल आर्मी फ्रॉम अयोध्या सो नेचर केम टू हेल्प क्योंकि वो धर्म के साथ जुड़े तो फ्रीडम रावण को भी था लेकिन जो इसका जो सरेंडर था इसके कारण जो ये धर्म के साथ था इसके कारण नेचर के फोर्सेस इसके साथ आ गए और 
जो रावण ने जो कर्म किया उसको उससे निकाला और उसकी वाइफ को कुछ भी नहीं हुआ ही गॉट हिज वाइफ बैक तो इन द सेम वे वेन यू आर ऑन द पाथ ऑफ सरेंडर सी अनदर स्टोरी दैट कम्स हियर इज ऑफ द्रौपदी इन इन भक्ति हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट वेन द्रौपदी वॉज everything happened that incident happened chir harana and everything and dropadi was actually in the forest she was not talking to krishna after that though only krishna came to her rescue hmm? so krishna then came to forest in their their kuti then he observed that dropadi is angry with him so he said i want to talk to you they were friends there, another name of dropadi also was krishna hmm? so uh, then dropadi said i don't want to talk to you. says why then he says everybody was watching me getting humiliated there and you were also one among them you had all the powers to protect me but you also waited till my hairs were pulled by dushasana till my sari was pulled by them till i was dragged on the ground why first of all you should have prevented this whole play itself if you were really our friend if you really wanted to help us in crisis true friends do not want you, what uh, watch your drama like this and then uh, you come for our rescue this was the thing very sharp point dropadi told krishna correct no then what did krishna reply so krishna told him when i created when this whole srishti was created one fundamental thing that was given to human being is their freedom of karma and even the creator cannot interfere in that yudhishthir did not even inform me that he is coming to play this Duryodhana had Shakuni. He called Shakuni to throw the dais. Shakuni had those dais prepared by the bones of the Dichi, and that had some vardan that whatever, whenever in crisis time he wants, those numbers only will come. Duryodhana took shelter in Shakuni. Like that, Yudhishthira also should have said, "Okay, from my side, Krishna will throw the." He did not even inform me that he is going. he wanted to do it and you draupadi i was waiting i was waiting you when you were dragged first you called your husband arjun then you saw he is looking down then you begged bhima so he is also looking down yudhishthir nakul sahade after that you look towards bhishma pitam then drona sha dhritarashtra everybody everybody in this up nobody came next what did you do you started using your own strength you started pulling your sari still you observed it was not happening you started using your teeth with your teeth you were catching your sari still it was being pulled then and everything gone with one hand you called me and then as soon as you left your other hand also and just surrender to me completely at that very moment i was there not even a second vastra avatar liya bhagwan it is called as vastra avatar i was eagerly waiting when will you call me because the creation is like that i cannot interfere in the freedom of action that has been given to him so he says every moment i was there i was very much there like that god is very much there all around us every moment but we call him at the last our surrender is incomplete that is why the force that comes to attack us is more powerful than our surrender that is why we sir but if one has completely given up then there will be immediate avatar to protect 
there is no doubt about it. Then it is not that that evil doesn't have the freedom to do the karma. He will do. But your protective forces will be more powerful than his karma. But it is in proportion to how much you surrender that that power will manifest. Does it answer your question? Is the reason that you... So, this is the understanding of karma. Hmm? Such a such a amazing, amazing science. Hmm? This our Rishi Munis have explored. Bhagavad Gita me Krishna gives so much value to Karma Yoga. He says that in the past, my dear Arjuna, this wonderful philosophy of Karma Yoga, I had told in the beginning to Surya, to the sun who is shining every day. Probably because of the imbibing of the science of karma yoga that a human being walking on this earth only has reached the level of sun. He has grown in that energy that he has been given that responsibility in the creation. Hmm? So I have told this to Surya in the beginning of the creation. Then Surya told it to Ikshvak. And then this science was very popular. After that it was lost. And now again I am reviving it and telling it to you. Janak Adi and other people, he has used this word Janak. Hmm? So, so Sita's father, that they have excelled on this path even now and grown by following the path of Karma Yoga. So I want you also to revive that and follow this path. So what is the essence of Karma Yoga? The essence of karma yoga is that my karma, that anyway I have no other way, I have to do it, I will not do it only for my selfish desire. I will do my karma because I have, this duty has been given to me by the creator and I am only serving the creator, nobody else. So, if you are a wife, you see that in the heart of your husband is Krishna and you are serving Krishna. If you are a mother, you see that in the heart of your children, there is Krishna. And you are only doing this to serve the Krishna. So, the whole approach here is my reporting officer, my boss is Krishna. He has given me this job profile. Okay, serve this fellow as a wife, serve this fellow as a mother, serve this fellow as a sister, serve this fellow as a daughter. This is my job profile. My boss is Krishna. I only report to him. Hmm? And every day in the night when you go to bed, you give your work report to Krishna. Ask for forgiveness if you have failed anywhere and seek his blessings. So at the end of your office, you punch out, right? Same way, when you go to bed in the night, you punch out. Morning, you punch in. These two things, if you do in a day. Hmm? Okay, Krishna, I am going for my job. So, I report my presence to you. I remember you. And uh, I will try to do whatever I have to do today with utmost honesty and dedication towards you. Then, towards the end of the day, in the night on the bed, once again, you Tell Krishna that I have done, tried to do my best and you punch out or say thank you. So, if this way all your karma, the reporting officers, be, officer becomes the source of creation, then the, even if in the day you forget, okay, but in the beginning of the day and end of the day, if you are punching in and punching out, then the whole day gets into the quota of karma yoga, not into sakama. Otherwise, if there, that reporting is not there, then it is a, that day is just wasted because this is, what you gained is momentary. So this is the way the karma is, can be processed. So what yogi does is he is able to see the fructification of the prarabdha that is happening. So, if the yogi is sitting and he says that, 
okay, I have starting, I am starting to develop some kind of a disease. Hmm? So he will see that how, which karma is able to bring that kind of a problem in me. Actually, you know, the chitta becomes so pure that you can actually trace down the root of anything that comes onto your chitta as a pratyaya. So if he sees a particular scenario happening or a particular uh, thing that happened to him, say for example, uh, if a yogi is uh, going in a car or going in a vehicle and he gets into an accident, so he will understand that which kind of prarabdha has got me into this. So in this way, the fast fructification thing and niruprakramam is the thing which are slowly evolving and uh, which have which have to be manifested. Like in this life, whatever karma I have to manifest, they uh, done by the karma done in this life. So the fructification also happens in the immediate way also. Like you do karma here and its prarabdha also is here only. And there are certain prarabdhas which are coming not from the karma of this life. They are coming from the karma of past life. So yogi is able to see both of them. When those prarabdha comes, he knows. Okay, this what has happened to me is because I have done this in this life. And this that has happened to me, it is because I have done this in my past life. By knowing these calculations, he is also able to know when is it that my quota of prarabdha in this life is going to get over. So in my current life, the prarabdha that I am experiencing are coming from two directions. Which are those two? In this life, the prarabdha, not the karma that I am doing. The prarabdha, not the karma that others are doing. The prarabdha that I am experiencing is coming from two sources. What are they? Questions? In my this life, the prarabdha that I am doing are coming from two sources. What are they? One is the karma that I am doing in this life itself. They are known as sopakramam. Other is the prarabdha that is coming from my karma that I have done in previous life. They are known as nirupakramam. And when these prarabdhas are over, I will leave this body. So it is cha karma tat sanyamad. Hmm? Aparanta jnanam. Aparanta means death of the body when the body so whole purpose that you have been given this particular body is to finish the prarabdha hmm? now prarabdha also another thing here is that people say that prarabdha is something that you cannot deny there is no escape from prarabdha you can destroy your what you say uh, sanchita Sanchita can be burnt, all folders can be burnt and deleted in this life. But once a folder is opened for prarabdha, prarabdha you can't do anything, you will have to go through it. What is your take on this? It's correct. Can a person get freedom from prarabdha? That is the question. No. You understood? Sanchita which has not yet opened, that all can be burnt. But once you open a prarabdha, which has combination of prarabdha of actions that you do in the life, if you are doing a sakama karma, you will have result. That and the prarabdha of your karmas in the past life, once the folder is open, then you cannot have freedom from it. You will have to go through it. Okay, now in this janma, I am doing a very, you know, good karmas, I am following a very uh, pious kind of a life. I am doing bhakti. But the prarabdha that I am getting are giving me suffering. 
and people you know cannot judge me saying that this person is such a bhakta still this person is suffering so much it means his bhakti is not pure no not like that probably it is the prarabdha of the past life which is opening up so therefore how a person will do cannot decide how great a bhakta is or what is happening in his life you cannot judge him like that the question is once the prarabdha is opened can it be nullified she says no can it be nullified no how many of you say no not at all not huh? intensity can be reduced but it won't go away completely the results are not in our hand yeah see prarabdha is a, a kind of a situation that i am put in which is not a planned activity of anybody it is just i am just put into that hmm so if you go by the understanding that is given in yoga texts yes prarabdha is something that an individual has to go through that is why we see that sages like ramkrishna paramahamsa developed cancer hmm so it is something that was maybe a past past life may some karma which has opened up in this life and unfolded so prarabdha has to be gone through but yogi when he reaches a particular kind of a state where he can see his karmas he is seeing hmm, sopakramam nirupakramam what kind of karmas are there how they are manifesting though he cannot destroy that energy energy cannot be created nor be destroyed but it can be transformed hmm? or it can be from one form into another so this uh, can happen that the the intensity of that prarabdha can come down how the intensity comes down is the shock absorbing capacity of the person who is experiencing the prarabdha increases many fold so then the relative intensity reduces hmm? so that is one way in which the prarabdha is easily taken up another is the whole time duration of the of the prarabdha also can be reduced by increasing its intensity so there are people you know who have shown like there are examples where people have shared the prarabdha or suffering of another means yogis have that freedom that they actually okay this is his prarabdha the person has to go through this disease i take it on me sai baba has done that hmm? so he used to develop some kind of a boil some kind of wounds in his back suddenly something would come up on his shoulder hmm? or he would have excruciating pain with something because those who take his name in that suffering he cannot destroy the prarabdha but he can channelize that energy in a, on himself so this is another way in which the gurus suffer for the prarabdha of the shishya so, so there are many such examples there are many such examples where this has been done so it is all about energy management hmm? so these are various ways in which this is done so this is the essence of this particular shloka Uh, sutra that we have discussed today and the the last aspect here is by looking at the arishta arishte bhyo va arishtas are also in a way uh, certain signs that are given by your prarabdha only because they are manifested in the nature around you you see certain signs that tell you that uh, the time to leave the body has come closer hmm? so some example of uh, such signs are a sudden change in the weather when the person leaves the body hmm? uh, or there can be a state where you just get a 
kind of a feel within you that like a fruit has ripened, it is going to fall down. So similar kind of things you start seeing in the nature where things are separating. Like the ripened cucumber falls from its creeper. That is the sloka they say in Mahamrityunjai Mantra. Hmm? So similar kind of things that you see which tells you that, okay, now the time has come, things have ripened and then it has to be separated. So when the yogi sees any particular kind of activity that is going on and contemplates on it, he gets an insight from within me. What does it indicate? What does this phenomena indicate? So this is how yogis get the knowledge of time of death. Any questions on the discussion today that we had? Husband. What is the wife experience? What wife is experiencing is the karma of the husband, and wife has the. Her, his question is: What is the wife experiencing? Wife is experiencing karma of the husband. So, the things that we experience in our life are either prarabdhas or the karma of others. Other beings who have the freedom to do the karma. She is having freedom to respond to her husband's karma. So, it is not that all the time that we experience is only our prarabdha. We also experience the karma of another person. That is not our prarabdha. That is karma of that person. Now I am sitting here. You are asking question to me. It is not my prarabdha that you should ask this question to me. It is your karma to which I have to respond. So I have the freedom to respond in the way I want to respond. I may just ignore you. I don't answer you. Or I may respond in a different way. So, wife has her agami karma to do in response to husband's karma. Hmm? We should always respond. Hmm? Reaction is, it means that we are sleeping, that we are not conscious. It is something that is happening from the lower brain areas. We should always respond. So, res responding doesn't mean that I cannot hit back. It should be conscious hitting back. It should not be a hitting back in sleep. Okay, I know that hitting him back is the only way to deter him from this. Then I hit him back. It's not impulsive hitting back. So, responding doesn't mean that you cannot be violent. So, baby is born with a congenital disease. So, here there is nobody's planning, no? Is there anybody planning like that? Huh, if somebody has deliberately fed mother kind of food which can cause problem in the baby, then it is that person's karma. Okay, I have given poison to the mother. But if there is nothing like that, still mother gave birth to baby like this. It is... Now your question is whether it is the prarabdha of the parents or the baby. What do you... Her question is, baby is born with a congenital problem. Parents are also suffering. Now, it is prarabdha of the parent or prarabdha of the baby. It is prarabdha of both. But the 
the question is how they are connected how they are connected to each other that baby also has to suffer and uh, parents also have to suffer there is no karma involved here at present now there is a karma which has been done before only hmm? or it may be possible that parents have done karma in this life also but your question is how the karma of the parent is connected to the karma of the baby and how that is both coming together to give this situation correct no very good question yeah. so that is why in bhagavad gita they say that gahana karmano gati hi the understanding the gati of the karma is very very difficult it is very very deep and difficult to understand how they are connected between two people so this is an example where it is something which is not a karma of one person over another it is a mutual prarabdha like that we experience mutual prarabdha of the whole society also for example now the temperature in summer in bangalore is rising it is a prarabdha of everybody living in bangalore how this manifests together as one phenomena even if you want you can't leave bangalore you have to be here like that in the certain areas when you go together you have a combined prarabdha how does that come in there are very small minute karmas that keep happening which we are not even conscious about like for example all of us you know uh, use plastic that goes and blocks the water flow some animal seed so plastic use is something we we cannot avoid the society this karma is being done climate change where uh, some we are stuck also we don't have any option also we have to use plastic because water bottle or but this is karma we are bound also have to do also in this in that way the whole society also develops a prarabdha so like that a family does certain karma together then the prarabdha also comes to the family together in that way that happens the family have certain rituals so that karma comes to the whole family anything else okay then we end yogena chittasya padena vacha मलम शरीर से वैद्यक योपाकोत्तम प्रवर मुनीना पतंजलि प्राजलिरा थैंक यू